the top five million dollar fishing boats. It's amazing for inclement weather. It's probably my number one accessory that should be on every boat. Hey everybody, I'm Captain Peterson. If this is your first time here and you believe in continuous improvement, you love outdoor adventures with your friends, and you like cool gear, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. We have many more videos to come. What kid doesn't grow up wanting the biggest, fastest fishing boat? Well, when I was a kid growing up in the 80s, we dreamed of boats that had 250 horsepower engines. We dreamed of two strokes that sounded like hot rods and blew out so much smoke it looked like a space shuttle. To us, a million dollar home loan was unimaginable, let alone a million dollar boat. It didn't even seem like something that would ever be a thing. Who would have dreamed of a fishing boat with 1800 horsepower that goes well over 80 miles per hour or that I'd be filming this video on a phone that also helped me do the research on my quest to find the best million dollar fishing boat. I had to go to a bunch of boat shows Talk to dozens of industry experts, including charter captains, commercial fishermen, spear fishermen, and boat manufacturers. Most importantly, like any good fisherman, my last stop was talking to some of the old timers at the dock for their wisdom. In all, what I found was it's harder to pick the best million dollar boat than you would think. Stick around to see if your favorite boat made the list. Be sure to let me know in the comments below if it didn't. Will it be a catamaran or a monohull? As you guys know, I'm a bit biased towards catamarans because I ran one for so long, but I promise to be as objective as possible. I will give you three cats and three monohulls, including two wild cards at the end. One is a boat built in South Africa due out later in 2022 that may take the crown. With that said, let's get started on the boat that will probably be many people's favorites and at the top of their list, the 47 Freeman. Check out the link for the video I did on this boat at the boat show. The pros, you know, brand loyalty and camaraderie. They got a lot of events and you can do a lot of different things with other Freeman orders, which is pretty cool. It's battle tested with thousands of hours for decades in the water with charter captains. So you know it'll, it'll have the durability to last the test of time. It's built like a tank inside and out. So quality parts, it's a great boat. Check it out. The cons are it's the data technology with the hull value. Really, is it worth the, everything you pay for it. They're still kind of charging you for that name recognition because they were kind of one of the first people to do these right. Looks, you know, it's kind of like the Corvette of deep sea fishing catamarans. It had its time, but uh, you know, at best it, it needs a refresh. The Everglades 455. The pros of this guy is the foam is pre-cured and all the moisture is out before they put it in the boat and it's designed for the boat, which is really cool. It's got a long track record for quality. The windshield that goes up and down is amazing for inclement weather. It's probably my number one accessory that should be on every boat. The cons, it's kind of narrow, but you know, it goes fast, you know, so it's going to use a little bit less gas and be a little faster. You know, I guess the other con would be like the value compared to the capabilities of catamarans and how much they cost to operate with less horsepower and less engines and less gas and less maintenance on all of that stuff. The Contender 44 ST Pros. Legendary tournament tested speed. It cuts through waves like a samurai sword. Probably the best of the monohulls. It's bad to the bone, hardcore fishing machine. Even commercial fishing captains can't tear them up and they hold their value super well. They're kind of like the Michael Jordan shoes of boats. The cons, not many accessories or options because it's more of a bare bone fishing boat. Not really family friendly or comfortable for longer runs unless maybe you got some bean bags on it or so. The CTS 46 made by Sea Hunter. The pros are it's a beautiful boat, probably the most well-equipped fishing boat your wife won't kill you for buying. But it's got narrow sponsons and big flare for running fast and serious waves. The cons for this guy, is uh, the value, I mean, it's pricey, you know, less tech than some of the other class leaders uh, in the hull design. It almost looks like it's better than me. Maybe it's why I'm not in the market for this kind of boat. If you would like individual reviews on these boats, please let the manufacturers know by leaving comments in the below or contact them on social media or by email. It would really help me a ton. Stick around for the wild card in a few seconds, followed by my next potential king million dollar fishing boat due out later this year on to probably one of my favorites the 46 invincible catamaran the pros it's got the best technology in the hull toughest looking of the mega fishing boats the best balance between form and function for an offshore fishing boat and our center console 
it's expensive. Those turbos are probably going to go out on those bigger engines that I like to put on them. The insurance is probably going to cost as much as some people's mortgages watching this video. Make sure to hit the bell notification so you don't miss out all the content I'm making at the boat shows. With that said, let's get into the two wild cards. The wild card, a Regulator 41 Pro. The so warranty is legendary. They really take care of the boats. They're comfortable for your family. They have huge storage uh, for fish and for gear. They've got power, comfort, and posh accessories. The cons are they're heavy and they're going to use more fuel than the mono hulls. Less deck space because you got all these accessories and cabins and stuff on the cabin. You can't fish the edges 360 around and if you're a serious fisherman that can be very very challenging especially if you've got a big mahi or tuna or something on. Last but not least let's get to the boat that's built in Australia due out in 2022 that may take the crown. If you like this video check out my other top five videos I've done at the boat shows. Here's a link right here for one. A boat built in South Africa due to come out in 2022 the Hammercat 45. It is a beast. It's got a huge flare. It's made of epoxy. It's light. It can use lower horsepower engines. This means less cost of ownership. Just kind of like this uh, Hammercat 35 I already did a video on at the Miami Boat Show. Definitely take a look at these guys. All of these boats are, you know, dependent upon how you equip them. A little bit less or a little bit more than a million. That's kind of what they're doing nowadays. So if this video is everything you expected it to be, please check out the top five video that's on the link on your screen. I'm sure you'll like it. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.